May the wind always be at your back and the sun upon your face. And may the wings of destiny send you aloft to dance with the stars. What a fantastic line. Platoon or Tropic Thunder? Which movie has aged worse? I don't know. I can't decide. But Platoon, what it has going for it is a young Johnny Depp as a soldier. What Tropic Thunder has going for it? It's just freaking hysterical. Robert Downey Jr., Tom Cruise, Matthew McConaughey, Ben Stiller, Jack Black. Name me a movie with a better cast than that. But nonetheless, an honorable mention on my list of best Johnny Depp movies, Platoon. What I find hysterical is Johnny Depp idolizes Hunter S. Thompson, Alice Cooper, and Keith Richards. But yet, people are still surprised that Johnny Depp enjoyed doing drugs. Did you guys watch Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas? There is nobody on this earth that could have been sober and gave the performance that Johnny Depp did. But this guy nonetheless is an acting genius. And number 10 on my list, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Roman Polanski is no doubt an amazing film director. Rosemary's Baby, The Pianist, The Ninth Gate. But unfortunately for Roman, he is best known for being with Sharon Tay at the time that she was murdered by Charles Manson and his cult, and also fleeing the country after being arrested for some very serious sexual assault charges. So I got a question for you guys. The Ninth Gate is an unbelievable film. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend checking it out. Who has a worse legacy, Roman Polanski or Woody Allen? Get in the comments and let me know. Ninth Gate, number nine on my list. Johnny Depp's partner of 15 years and the mother of his two children, Vanessa Paradis, is from France. And the two of them actually met on the set of The Ninth Gate. And then Johnny, one of his next films was Chocolat, which was filmed in France, and that's how they became romantically involved. And if you think about it, they were together for 15 years, and she testified under oath that in 15 years, he never once was aggressive with her. So... Think about that for a second. Go watch the movie Chocolat. It's an unbelievable romantic movie, and I think you'll really enjoy it, and it's number eight on my list. The Academy Award-winning film The Departed has a fictional character named Frank Costello that is portrayed by Jack Nicholson. That character was actually based upon the real-life mob boss, Whitey Bulger. Whitey Bulger was portrayed by Johnny Depp in the movie Black Mass, and he totally knocked it out of the park. That is why when Christopher Nolan said he had to scrap his sequel to The Dark Knight because Heath Ledger passed away, if I were Christopher Nolan, the only actor on this earth that could have portrayed the Joker the way Heath Ledger did was Johnny Depp. I would not have scrapped that film. I would have just recast Johnny Depp as the Joker. But nonetheless, Black Mask, number seven on my list. If there was ever any question that Leonardo DiCaprio would turn out to be one of the greatest actors in the history of film, go look at 1993 when this guy was 16 years old and he went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Robert De Niro in This Boy's Life and he plays a special needs child in What's Eating Gilbert Crape. Leonardo DiCaprio, a global superstar, one of the greatest actors in the history of film, cinema, television, whatever you want to call it. But we saw this coming when he was 16 years old. This Boy's Life and What's Eating Gilbert Great, number six on my list. Michael Mann directs Public Enemies. Michael Mann directed Heat. He directed Collateral. He's one of my favorite directors ever. And think about this for a second. Michael Mann cast a young Channing Tatum as Pretty Boy Floyd. Channing Tatum, after this movie came out, he became a movie star. He had Coach Carter, then he had Public Enemies. But they killed off Channing Tatum within 15 minutes of the movie, and it still was an amazing amazing flick. Johnny Depp, this is one of his best performances ever portraying John Dillinger, the bank robber from the early 1930s, 1920s. I love this movie through and through. I love everything that Michael Mann does, and I wish Johnny Depp did more performances like this, but nonetheless, Public Enemies, number five on my list. I'm not the biggest Tim Burton fan. That's why a lot of the Tim Burton, Johnny Depp collaborations are not on this list. But Tim Burton, my favorite film of his is the original Batman with Michael Keaton. I think that Batman is the third best Batman in the entire legacy of that series. The Dark Knight number one, the new Batman with Robert Pattinson, and then the original with Michael Keaton. For my money, Michael Keaton is the best Batman ever to do it still because he added a sense of humor that we have not seen in Batman since. And Edward Scissorhand is one of Tim Tim Burton's best films. I love how sweet it is. I love how nuances. I love Johnny Depp's performance. It's silent, but it's powerful. Edward Scissorhand, number four on my list. 
Donnie Brasco came out in 1997. We knew at this point that Johnny Depp was a fantastic actor, but we didn't know how great he actually could be until he went toe to toe with Al Pacino in this movie. Al Pacino, he was just after his prime, but he was still great. He won the Academy Award for Best Actor for Scent of a Woman in 1992. This is similar. His performance in Donnie Brasco for Johnny Depp when Kobe Bryant in the 1998 NBA All-Star Game went right after Michael Jordan. Yeah, we knew Kobe Bryant was going to be good, but we didn't know that he had the balls. He was going to be good enough to go at the greatest of all time. So this movie, Donnie Brasco, number three on my list, best Johnny Depp movies ever. I've always loved movies as much as I've loved sports. There's just something about throwing on a great flick for a few hours and escaping escaping the messiness of my mind, being transported to another place where I don't have a worry in the world. Blow, it does that for me. It makes me laugh. It makes me think. At the end, I feel something. May the wind always be at your back and the sun upon your face. And may the wings of destiny send you aloft to dance with the stars. What a fantastic line. What an incredible way to end a movie. I love the movie Blow. I love Johnny Depp in it, and it's number two on my list. I highly recommend going and checking it out. Think about all of the people that Johnny Depp has made laugh and smile and entertain because of his portrayal as Captain Jack Sparrow in the Pirates of the Caribbean film franchise. Then think about all the kids in children's hospitals around this country, not knowing if they're ever going to leave that hospital ever again, that he's gone to visit in full character and he's brought them joy. He's made them feel better. Even if it was just momentary, he made them forget about their plight. And us as human beings, isn't our job here on earth to make it a better place than how we found it? We're all flawed. We all make mistakes. And Johnny Depp, he is no different. Some of this stuff coming out is really, really ugly. But let's not forget, this guy has brought this earth a lot of joy. He has done a lot of good. So don't forget that going forward. Johnny Depp, Pirates of the Caribbean, number one on my list. <laughs>